RHC Reviews. What is going on everybody out there in YouTube land? Revolution Hell Cowboy here. And finally, finally, I got my hands on all the figures I needed for the JR Build-A-Figure set. It took a while, but it was not easy. Since Toys R Us sucks when it comes to finding these figures. It was a couple months ago when I got my CM Punk. And since Toys R Us has been no help, I had to go online through Amazon eBay to find the other three figures. But now I have them in my possession, and I'm going to review them. As you can see, this is the JR Build-A-Figure set. And the set includes Randy Orton, Alberto Del Rio, CM Punk, and Curtis Axel. Which, Curtis Axel obviously is the hardest and most expensive of the four figures. Punk and Del Rio the easiest, even though I had to get my Del Rio online because the only Del Rio I found had a, well, a missing world title. And the order is just as hard just because of his accessories. But for me, besides the figures themselves, I'm definitely looking forward to putting the JR build a figure together. So, gotta get ready to do this review, review each figure, and review each piece that comes with them, and eventually put the figure together. And as JR would say, Business is about to pick up. Boomer sooner. Even though I don't like to say that because I'm a Wildcats fan. <laughs> Alright, first, we'll start with Alberto Del Rio. And as you can see, he's got kind of an angry head scan. If it hopefully focuses in on it. Sorry for the sunlight glaring off it. We'll move back. He's wearing a black scarf, which can be removed. And it's just plastic. The figure is in red trunks with a gold A. So, just typical Del Rio attire. And then he has the red knee pads, both with the golden A. And red boots, which say AR on them. So, nothing special. This is a typical Alberto Del Rio, just an elite form, and it's his... Third appearance in the build figure set. Last time he was in two basic sets for Teddy Long and Booker T. And like the Booker T set, he includes JR's legs. Uh, obviously, uh, I don't know if there's a theme of Del Rio being in build figure sets. I don't know if he just wants to steal human body parts. <laughs> but as for his other accessory, besides the scarf and then the build figure legs, he comes with the World Heavyweight Championship, which can be either worn on his arm. Like so, if it wants to stay. Or can it easily be worn around his waist? Like that. And of course, this is from his match of, from uh, Payback last year when he defeated uh, Dolph Ziggler to get the world title back. And he did this to poor Ziggler, so you know what? You're going to get a taste of your own medicine. Ah! That's what you get. Yeah. The next figure in the set is Randy Orton. And it's really nothing new. Just same typical Randy Orton with the beard. Pretty much a similar same figure we've gotten since 2012. Even though, even without the beard and, and the head scans might be slightly different, it's just all Orton figures are pretty much the same. Same tattoos. Look at the face. Uh, I'll try to cover the sunlight up a little, I hope. It's, I mean, thank God it's not a Seamus figure. The sun would really be all over the figure. <laughs> anyway, same tattoos. All over his arms. On the back. And of course, same trunk, say Orton. So nothing really special, just the same old Randy Orton figure we've all 
always seem to get, and this is his second appearance in a build figure set. Like Del Rio, he appeared in the Teddy Long basic set uh, last year. But I guess I guess I'll write to have an elite form of him. For his accessories, this is based off his victory at Money the Bank up from last year, so he comes with a ladder. So he can pose with it. You could have him climb up it to get this, the briefcase, which can be held only in this hand. If I can get in there. Or you know, he could use the ladder as a weapon, obviously. Which can be folded back out. Oh. And it kind of snaps apart, but it can be put back together. That was not planned, but eh. It happens. And anyways, let's just put this back down. So you can ram your opponents with it, slam onto it. Of course, the briefcase, it can open. And it says Mighty Bank on it. Even though now we have a gold case, since there's no more brand separation at this moment, so I guess it makes more sense. Now, for his part of the JR build a figure set, as I set the ladder back up, he comes. With the arms. Nothing too special, just similar to arms we always see in a in every other build for a set. And we use them to punch Orton. Ah <laughs> <laughs> Now this figure, as I had mentioned before, is like the hardest figure to find in this set. Just because it's his first elite and probably the only elite he'll probably get for a long time because of what WWE is currently doing with him. But anyways, it's none other than Curtis Axel, third generation superstar, son of the late Mr. Perfect, and grandson of Larry Dax Hennon. Anyways, it's just, I guess, an alright figure. It's got that he got a nice head scan that's been used before. It's been used on the Battle Pack with Triple H, and then also back when he was Michael McGillicuddy, and that two pack of him and uh, David Otunga. Once again, I apologize for sunlight. I'll try to cover it up a little. Zoom back out. Oops, sorry about that. The trunks are just the black trunks with a little bit of a the triangle, kind of a tribute to his father. On the back it says Axel with two axes. And then just black everything else, knee pads, one elbow pad, knee pads, boots. So nothing else to it. For his accessory, it's the only one I th think we'd probably expect to come of him with for a long time would be the Intercontinental Championship. The white strap current version that's also been seen with Christian and Wade Barrett. And uh, Big E will be getting this belt pretty soon when um, his Elite comes out. So it's pretty nice. And like with Del Rio. Oh, and it, it comes apart apparently. Well, if it comes apart, they keep back together anyway. <laughs> Can be held on his arm. Like so, and it fits there pretty well. Or it could be worn around his waist. So it looks pretty nice. And for his build figure piece, he comes with JR's torso, which this time has the jacket piece included. In previous build figure sets, the torso and the jacket were always separate. The torso came by itself with whatever figure it came with, and the jacket usually came with the head with another, build, with another figure, you know, but I guess this time I decided to include it, but it's not really anything different. I mean, obviously it's the same. You can, if you want to, remove the jacket before you put it back on, because I think that's a better idea, because in the past, you know, if you didn't have all the pieces and you put the arms in first, it would look, look kind of goofy without the jacket piece. I mean, it has that ab crunch articulation that all the elite figures have. So we'll put that back on there. Gray jacket with purple tie, and there is an OU pennant for Oklahoma University. Personally, I'm not a fan because I'm from the state of Kansas, not for Kansas State and, K and KU, but eh, whatever. It's for JR, you know. JR's a big Oklahoma State fan. Or Oklahoma fan. Ah. I'm going to get in trouble for saying that. I should have not said that. I'm sorry. That was a. Uh, He's a big Oklahoma fan. Ugh. Like I said, I'm not a fan of Oklahoma, but please don't slander me. I'm, I'm, I have nothing against them. But anyways, uh, not much else to say about this. It's too bad that this build for your piece don't have any arms or legs to attack Axel with, but he could probably still do the spear. Ah!
<laughs> and finally, the last figure in the set, CM Punk, who is sadly no longer with the company, but, you know, whatever. He took his ball and he ran with it, and he's never, never, never come back. Whatever. And personally, that hurts me as a CM Punk fan, but at least I'm able to get my hands on one of his last figures that he'll probably have for a long time. Maybe he'll come back someday, maybe he won't. I don't know. Anyways, take a look at the figure. Let's zoom in on the head. Once again, try to cover the light up. He has the head scan with the mutton chops. I hope it focuses right. If it doesn't, I apologize. But anyways, he's got that grumpy look to him, like the grumpy cat. And that's why he walked out. <laughs> no, not the real reason why he walked out, but still, not not too bad. He's got the tattoos, nicely colored, obviously for copyright reasons, no Pepsi or Cobra tattoos, but most of his tattoos are there, and I guess the only other tattoo missing is his neck tattoo, but other than that, it's a fairly accurate figure to punk. Typical black trunks with the stars for the flag of Chicago, but in red with the stripes, and he's got painted kick pads because CM Punk was wearing his kick pads less and less and just sticking with plain black ones. It's either white and red. And he's got the taped up wrist with the X's on the side. So not too much else to this punk. Not the best punk, but it's still pretty cool looking. Now we get to the accessories. He comes with a decent amount of accessories. Not the best choice of accessories, but since he wasn't really a champion most of 2013 since he lost the belt to the Rock... So by the time he had the mud and chops, he pretty much went without a championship. So I guess I had to glue something with him. I would prefer a t-shirt since it's not a single figure in the set had any clothing except for Del Rio's scarf. But, oh well, I guess for cost-cutting measures, can't always get clothing. And if you do, it's plastic. And uh, I would have not wanted that. But anyways, comes the accessories. He comes with two signs. One says CM Punk, which you hear every time, especially when AJ Lee comes out, CM Punk, CM Punk. And then you got Best in the World. It's hard to say he's Best in the World right now since he's, well, not wrestling at the moment, but, eh, that's an alright sign. And this accessory would have made more sense maybe three years ago, back when he did the whole thing at Comic-Con, you know, when he went out of a megaphone and started yelling at Triple H and stuff, but anyways... Here's his megaphone. This is the same one that was with Elite 23 Triple H, except repainted and has Best in the World on it, and the CM Punk fist with the Thunderbolt through it. And this one he can hold in his hand, like so. Now it doesn't really hold in place too well. You have to kind of do this to be able to hold it near his mouth. It's too bad his other fist isn't open. It doesn't work too well. I guess you can hold it like this. But oh well. It works in a way. And I'm sorry that the light is kind of bright. So you, you kind of can't see it as well probably. At least I know I can't see it. Maybe it'll show up better in the video. Anyways, um, for his build for your piece. Probably the most important part. And if you didn't have it, you can't put JR together unless you want a headless JR. First you got his trademark black cowboy hat, which CM Punk probably could wear, but it's not meant for Punk. <laughs> it would be, it'd be funny though. We'll just put it on anyway. <laughs> the CM Punk for cowboy made Punk. <laughs> it doesn't even fit on his head. I know, once again, it's not a accessory. Don't get mad at me. I'm just making some jokes here. And of course, oh, the hat fell off. Well, it fit on his head anyway. <laughs> but it fits on this guy's head. Good old JR Jim Ross. Boomer Summer. Oh my god. Ah, it's gotta be Kane. No, it's CM Punk. Look behind you. CM Punk, he quit. But I'll tell you who also quit and came back. Stone Cold! Stone Cold! Stone Cold! <laughs> but yeah, um. Then of course JR can't do anything right now. He's a headless body. So he can't really attack Punk. And we'll just let Punk walk out. Where are you going? Ah, uh, by God, he left the building. That man's got a family. <laughs> yeah, no, none that made any sense, but, you know, God makes some jokes. <laughs> All right, now it's time to put the build figure together. Of course, it looks kind of weird now, just having the legs stand here. 
So we're going to get ready to do that. So we got the legs, now we just need the torso. And of course, the torso snaps in right here with the legs. Uh, not very well. You may have to put the jacket off just in case. Because now that this part usually is done second after you put the legs on, it kind of gets in the way. Ah, oh, shoot. I hope mine's not defective. Okay, it's on. So we got that out of the way. Of course, pop jacket on because you don't want to put the arms on until you after you've done that. And then the usual putting the arms on. Make sure we have the right ones. Right and right, left and left. It's not rocket science. Of course, right here, that's where they go. <laughs> the, this one does not want to go in very well, so that kind of worries me. Okay, there we go. And they don't really go down very well. I don't like that. That they do. Yeah, sorry. That you have to kind of do this to pose it. It doesn't really. Oh wow, these joints are stiff. And I might have screwed it up. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> like I said, the joints are very stiff on this figure. <laughs> Helps if you have the fist the right way. I'm botching this, man. <laughs> now let's pop the head on. The head goes on the ball joint like this. And there you go. And JR is put together, and of course, can't forget the cowboy hat. Fits perfectly on his head. And now he's ready to do some commentating. Not anymore, obviously, because he's no longer a WWE, but still, this man will always be the voice of the WWE. Because he is always going to be good old JR Jim Ross. Alright, there you guys go. This has been my review of the Jim Ross Build a Figure set, which is only at Toys R Us. Even though, as I mentioned before, I had to go online to get mine, but whatever. That's why Toys R Us sucks, at least in my opinion. But anyways, feel free to give me your thoughts on this build and figure set. Let me know what you thought about it. Let me know if you had the hard time finding it or if you got it easily. As always, hit that like button and subscribe for more WWE figure reviews or Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Power Rangers, or whatever else I have the chance to review. As always, I am Revolutional Cowboy. Rock on and keep collecting. Thanks for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this review. I will try to put up as many reviews as I can. And if you want to see my previous review, click on the video that's playing right now. And make sure to subscribe for more videos coming soon. And also like my page on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. As always, rock on and keep collecting.